We'll push it. Our pre-season tour here in Zimbabwe is about to come to an end. Just reflect on how much you've enjoyed the experience. Yeah, I really enjoyed the experience. Uh, it's been class. Been class to come out here for uh, what, 18 days or so now. Uh, yeah, lads have loved it. It's played what six games or so. Um, I only played four myself, but we won six from six, which is really good, really positive for the season up and coming. Um, and yeah, looking forward to getting home and uh, getting stuck in when we get back to River Dog. In, ter in terms of these trips, you obviously around the lads quite a bit last season, but how beneficial are they for you so you can get the other guys even more than you already do? Yeah, yeah, really benef beneficial. Um, spent some time away this winter in, in Australia, which has been really good as well. Um, and then coming back to, to the likes of the big dogs, the professionals has been yeah just so beneficial. So um, uh, yeah. Touching on professional, you are now Derek professional. You signed your first professional deal over the winter. How delightful is that to, to now be a professional cricketer, have yeah. progressed through the academy? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's unreal, really. Everything that I could have wished for um, at the start of last season, um, particularly 2021 season. Didn't know whether I'd still be at the club. Didn't have a very good year. So uh, yeah, to sign a two-year deal at my home club's just you know what I always dreamed of. So um, yeah, class. Let's go back to the 2022 season. First class debut against Worcestershire, what a special week. Take us back the emotions of that week and how special it was for you and your family. Yeah, yeah unreal. Uh, I think the lads played against Lancashire uh, on the Friday night and then we played Worcester on the Sunday. Found out on the Friday night that I was going to be playing uh, on the Sunday and then yeah, roller coaster of emotions really. Went from nerves, happiness. Um, told me mum, told me my two brothers and my nana and they were delighted. Uh, my brother got to see the cap presentation, my mum was away, which, was, uh, which she was sad about but that's okay and then um, and then it fortunately went okay with watching on the day, which was great. Uh, yeah, just a, just a really good week and something I'll remember forever. You two, you seem to really click with Ratchin. What was it about him that just, you just, the two of you just clicked? Well, I'm not too sure. He's, he was just so nice. He was so helpful. Um, came down, said something to me every single ball, uh, just making sure I was okay. Um, and I think that was it, really. We just, yeah, we just got on, on and off the field, which helped. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I, I'll forever thank him, really. Debut was also in the T20 and the one the one one day cup. So I guess for you personally, you must be really pleased with 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 the season 2022 as a whole. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, we sat down for the um, pre-season. What do we call it? Uh, uh, meetings with the with the coaches and set out some goals. And I said I'd I'd love to play any format really. So to play all three was was great. Um, I, I didn't really expect to. I didn't didn't know what to expect really so I was yeah delighted um, delighted to play all three formats considering we've got we've got a very strong team a minute. and then let's go back to the winter that, that's just just gone you spent the summer the winter in uh, Australia with, with Scarborough lots of runs lots of wickets you must be really pleased with how that winter has gone for you yeah you. yeah pretty pleased to be honest uh, I, was, I was more happy to get out there at the start to be honest I had a few visa issues to start with um, so I, I've got to thank Ruth Ruth who works who works at Durham as well she helped out with the visa um, and then yeah, on the field, would have, would have liked a few more runs than I got, but um, I'll, I'll take them for sure. And then works really hard on my bowling um, with Shane Connolly, Cooper Connolly's dad, the Prince of Perth. Um, so yeah, I've got to thank him and HD Ackerman and all the coaches at Scarborough, they were, they were class um, to yeah, help me develop my game. Um, uh, yeah. And Australia is not just about cricket, it's about life experiences as well. What did you take away from that trip, not just cricket wise? Um, well, it was the second time I've been now, fortunately. I went to play at Claremont 2019-20 season. Um, and it just just kind of matures you a little bit, I suppose. Um, you know, you got you got to fight for yourself, you got to find a job. You kind of just get a taste of the real world. And in that heat as well, it's, it's just a great experience. Something that I'd, uh, I'd recommend anyone, any young lad to do if, if they've got the opportunity. So, and I'll hopefully, hopefully be back there uh, upcoming winter or next winter. So, um, uh, yeah. Switching on your ball and you've looked really good in the net um, this, this, this tour. Um, do you reckon you put a bit of a yard, yard of pace on your ball and really, really nicely? Well, I hope so. <laughs> thank, thank you, Sam. Um, I hope so, yeah. Uh, like I said, worked a lot with Shane, Shane Connolly um, on the alignment and things like that uh, in the Scarborough net, the girls' net. So if you say so, I'll, I'll take that. I'm happy with that. Yeah. You go home, you've got a week of, third week of, of pre season, then we into the matches. Have you set any aims, goals, from a personal point of view for the summer? Um, Probably say I'd like to. I'd like to try and push for to play all, play all three formats. Um, try and play as much first team cricket as possible. Uh, we've got a few new signings, new head coach Ryan Campbell, also a Perth boy. Um, so yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be it's going to be like really tough, tough to get into the team. It's going to be really good competition. So um, see how we go.